So, my big event of the last three, four weeks has to be the little seizure that I had. Now, nobody told me about seizures when I signed up for this whole MS thing. Nobody told me they'd be wetting the bed. To be honest, I don't remember a great deal about that day, which apparently is quite normal. First thing I remember is being in the hospital and uh, getting stabbed for them to take my blood. And I remember pancakes for breakfast. But I don't remember much about that day at all. I, I think we went for a pub quiz in the evening, but otherwise, it's all a bit of a blur. In slightly better news, I have started back on with my physiotherapy again. Now, I did get away from using my wheelchair about this time last year, I'd started cracking on with my physiotherapy, and it, I did get to walking without any walking aids. So, I've got previous. I know that it can really be a benefit, but frankly, physiotherapy is really boring. And the other thing I've learned in the last few weeks relating to my physiotherapy, although it could be applied to any, any activity in life, motivation doesn't lead to action. It's sheer bloody mindedness that leads to action and motivation will follow along with when you start seeing results. Because doing physiotherapy is boring stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. It's repressive and it's not the most intellectually stimulating of the things you can do. In the first few weeks, days, weeks, it is just your sheer bloody mindedness that will ensure that you carry on doing the exercise and then you will start to see benefits from that. And then when you start seeing the benefits, that's when you start getting motivated and that takes over from the sheer bloody mindedness as your sole purpose for carrying on. So to anyone that's about to undertake or start undertaking physiotherapy, it's not easy in the opening few weeks. But when you start seeing the improvements in your mobility, that's when it starts to get easier from a psychological perspective. But until that point, no amount of encouragement or nagging from other people help you to do the exercise. You've got to nag yourself. But it's worth it. So, fingers crossed, I'll see some, uh, some real benefits in the next few weeks. I'm currently waiting to see my physiotherapist again, getting a, another appointment, because it's been about nine months since I last saw her. And as you all know, I've had quite the summer of events, MS-wise, and about 10 weeks in hospital. So that was fun.